Good morning, everyone. I hope you are fine and you have a very nice uh, uh, breakfast. So I think we can start, yes? Uh, first of all, I also thank my colleague, uh, Professor Padovani, who asked me to come here. These are beautiful places in ICPP. It is very prominent, very famous, you know, all over the world. It is dream every scientist to be one time in ICTP uh, campus, and you are here. And they have many, 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 many activities, not only medical physics. Professor Padvani and his friend Batuchi, they introduce medical physics. We are lucky enough that we have medical physics in ICTP. I ask him maybe uh, the capital of medical physics all over the world, and you please uh, uh, develop it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, um, uh, the professor, uh, my colleagues, and Gunter introduced me. I'm long time here like you, uh, from the de developing country, and I have experience in Germany, little bit in Europe, and of course in developing country. In our society of medical physics in Germany, we have a tax group. It's called Medical Physics in Developing Country. So we support not only in Bangladesh, I was in Africa, even in South America, so all over the world. When anybody want to arrange or then uh, uh, something similar in your country, then maybe in, in European level, we can visit them. And many, many people, they want to do that. So we have a very short time. I must also maintain my time. So you have learned many things in the last uh, three days. I think you know from your profession also the medical physics. Medical physics is a new subject. I think it is a new subject, not so new, but in developing country, new subject. We are fighting against cancer, but at the same time, we are fighting for our positions, our salary. So on everything, we are fighting parallel. So we are a very, we should be a strong foot in the in the art and try to find not only in the hospital but also in the government level. So you have a huge tax to do. So your subject is not so easy, but it is challenging. I hope we are strong enough to do all the things parallel so that actually at the end there is a good help for the disease patient, cancer patient. So here, three-dimensional uh, conformal therapy it is actually uh, important tools. I know from many countries, even in Germany, most of the hospital, they do the conformal, uh, conformal radiotherapy. And in some places, also IMRT. In Germany, even, uh, they do not like to introduce IMRT because uh, there are many problems there. Even the uh, insurance do not pay for the, do, did not pay for the IMRT, but now they pay also for IMRT. So IMRT is actually is increasing every day to day. So yeah, I, I think you have seen this from IEA. Everybody, I do not actually explain the tax of medical physics, uh, uh, medical physicist. Uh, you know, more or less everybody, it started from the uh, construction of the bunker up to the, uh, up to the treatment of the patient. Yes, so this is all the uh, tax for you. What I want to mention here, actually, here you see the, these are the partners in the hospital. Actually, you have radiation oncologist and technician. Some countries like America, they are telling radiation therapists, they are technician. So the three person in a group and team, and it is your duty to work together. Only when you work together, then you have a good quality assurance. Yeah? But physicists, they work when alone. They have some quality control, but not the quality assurance. Yeah? Not the outcome of the patient. So please do a very close contact with them. Yes, not only sitting in your dark room with some uh, computer uh, treatment planning, but you always go to the positioning and other cases where you have a close contact. The hospital authority, especially the medical doctor knows every day patients, patients 
um, added in the need in, not somewhere in dosimetry, some treatment plan, nobody knows what you're doing. And you are afraid because nobody knows and nobody respects you, but they, they do not actually know what you're doing. That's why the patient, patient uh, uh, close is very important for you, yes. So this is a teamwork and uh, teamwork is very important, I am telling uh, this for uh, quality assurance. This is also the chain, you know, uh, uh, from the Professor Hartman. What I want to say here, actually the 3D imaging, he has started everything. There are, we have many, many modalities, so we can actually um, find the tumor very well, yes. So we can also contour it very well, so you can escalate it. That can, you can close, you can actually um, higher the dose. Yes, in earlier time, the dose is limited by the tolerance of the uh, organ at risk. But when you have a very good contour and you define the PTV very well, then you can uh, increase the doses, so the outcome is very nice. So this is actually not only the treatment planning, but 3D imaging is a, actually very important. And, and here is a, the education of medical doctors is very necessary because most of the medical doctors, they know to draw, to contour the, from the CT, but the other modalities, they should learn it. It's not the same, yeah. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, the education of uh, radiation oncologists, even the, me uh, the medical physicist, yes, we know the anatomy and physiology, not only physics, mathematics, and electronics. Anatomy and physiology, I used to have my elect um, uh, anatomy and physiology book in my, in my uh, bag because it is not actually the subject for us, but we should master of the subject. Yeah, we know the language of medical doctors. I cannot say, please, the tumor is just in the backbone like this. I talk about the anatomy with the medical doctor. So long you are not serious with anatomy and physiology, they do not talk with you, and so you are just, so therefore it is important to know the anatomy and physiology, yes? Most of the people forget, they think the mathematics and physics, it is my subject. No, no, it is medical physics, not the basic physics. On, you see here, actually in these cases you know everything, and up to the dosimetric verification and position. This is also very important. Yeah, I will explain next um, uh, our the positioning the patient, yeah. This is very, very important. Yeah, you have always uh, worked with this uh, tomography, uh, tomograph, CT, linear accelerator, simulator, and treatment planning. The four are the main equipments, and all the places the patient had exactly the same position. Yes, you have, when there is a position change, then you have not correct uh, treatment. So it is your duty, it's a very, very good duty to place the patient right position. In next hour, I will explain when you have a very good position with immobilization devices, then you can reduce the boundary of PTV. When you reduce the boundary of PTV, a small PTV, what you have done, you have actually saved the uh, healthy, healthy tissues. And so, uh, you, you do not damage the, uh, um, uh, the patient, you increase the dose. So through the immobilization and position, you can do a lot. Don't think about only the very good algorithm and calculation and uh, everything, dosimetry, it is very, very important. You know, I do not explain dosimetry, everything is, but the positioning is very, very, when we forget sometimes, we do not cooperate with the technician or med, uh, radiation oncologist. Please go and always think about the positioning you understand the whole chain so that you can understand this position is right or not. And every time there is a image and you compare with this. Maybe it once in a week, when you think it is more, then you can do that. So the positioning is very, very important. That is just important like the calculation and dosimetry and treatment planning. So here is the objectives, everybody knows uh, destruction of tumor and a uh, little um, uh, uh, effect and removal of tumor 
and this is actually the avoidance of treatment effect, you know, disfigurement, loss of function, restriction of quality life. What is the therapy optimization? Maximum effect with minimum burden. Uh, so, maybe I, I speak a little bit uh, slow. Uh, <coughs> here, you know, everybody the tolerance table, it is not given in actually uh, ICRO 50 or uh, 60, uh, 60 or 62, but every medical physics all over the world use this table uh, or similar table, because it is actually the limitation of tolerant doses is given in this table. And you see here is the different organ and how much this organ, the uh, organ at risk is actually uh, you irradiate. And so, when you irradiate uh, a, a part of the organ, you can increase the dose. And when the limitation of dose is higher, then you have a easy tax to do the planning. Yes. Uh, therefore, actually this table is uh, give you the uh, criteria to say the different organs. Yeah? It is actually from the imami and you can find uh, all the literature. I do not explain more. When you have question, I can go through the table. Uh, and you see here actually also very important from the uh, medical physicist, of course the radiation oncologist. You know in the, uh, there is some uh, organ and serial organ and this is as a parallel organ, yes. And your case when serial organ like uh, spinal cord, yeah, then it is actually your tax is very high, your responsibility very high. Do not uh, do any burden in this uh, serial organ, then you actually, the function is disorder. But instead of that, when a parallel organ, just like a light, yeah, in this room I can switch one light because it's parallel connection, so other is, but when you have a Christmas, uh, Christmas light, when you switch one, then everything is uh, dark. Uh, that's actually the series. Yeah, everybody know in physics, especially electrotechnics, uh, how this. And it is not difficult sometimes to know in which case is parallel, which case is actually serial. But the medical oncologist and pathologist, they know and they also take care about this. But you understand also very important because some hospital, the medical physicists, they draw also, they contour also the organatrics. Yes, they, they, uh, not the PTV, it is done by the radiation, um, radiation oncologist, but the medical physicists, they can prepare for the draw all the organatrics. And they come and they check it and maybe they extend it, maybe there's some correction. But you can do the organatrics uh, and here actually what I am telling, uh, the fixing of treatment position this is the first case. There is a patient there and we fix the patient here. Yeah. This is very important. And the fixing the patient, you know this place should be very compatible. The patient lying maybe 30 sitting or 40 sitting, so maybe he is eager to come and, uh, and lie there. So uh, it is very important to ask, discuss what is his position, what is his actually uh, compatible for him. And you do that here, the immobilizations. And then the, also the question is, of this um, CT, it is a diagnostic CT or a simulator CT? When the, there is a um, diagnostic CT, then you have only so orientation and you dip, do this uh, different slices. And later in the simulator, you mark very good. But when uh, simulator CT, then you have here actually the uh, marking everything because the medical doctors here fixed uh, not only the central plane but also actually the isocenter. Here they fix the isocenter. When you go to the treatment planning and you see already there is a field, there is a just an arbitrary field with the isocenter and you start to do it. You do not search any um, uh, uh, isocenter uh, in the treatment plan. It is also given. Therefore, here is actually your decision, your hospital have, um, your hospital has a conventional uh, city or uh, uh, simulator city. So, these are the devices. In next hour, I will explain little bit more. 
These are many, many devices, yeah. Sometimes there is a combi board, you have heard maybe, yeah. Some hospital, the people, they supply you with a combi board, and in the combi board, you can do all the uh, placement. But here is a many, many things. And actually here, the uh, technician, they have the intents to uh, choice these things, yeah. But I think it is a better together with the team, they uh, uh, choice the, all the apparatus. I have know many of my colleagues, phys phys they even do not know who is the, uh, where uh, the immobilization in this room, they do not know. I ask them, can you see your immobilization? Oh, technician, please come, please. I do not know in which place, and they search everywhere. So don't do that. You know, actually, the immobilization devices is very important. They give up positioning. So here, the city, uh, you, you can do the city. When everybody knows in city, actually also quality control, yeah, in city is very important. You have a city phantom. You send them, and you also put the quality control, whether, whether the different organs, the density is correct, the contouring is correct, everything should be also quality control from your hospital. It is not the machine of the radio diagnostic. It is a part of the machine belongs to your department, in the physics department or radiotherapy department. So uh, here is also uh, the process. Actually, uh, CT, we know the CT is actually the important. Why CT is important for treatment planning? Can anybody explain? Yeah? Yes, because we want to irradiate the radiation. So when there is a radiation properties there, then you can irradiate also. But the other modality has not radiation absorption properties. So we can also take eggs, health, and draw uh, the uh, treatment. Therefore, CT is must. And CT is actually only without CT, we could not plan. It is the tri dimensional, you can see in organ places and the density, so you can calculate the treatment planning. So, it is actually the tools for medical physics CT. Without CT, we do not need any medical physics. It is projection, radiography, so the medical doctors do at the only, uh, uh, older time with conventional conventional uh, treatment, you know this, yeah? But you still then, when conventional treatment, you can need CT, maybe in one A, one um, level, and you can do that. Yeah, we have, we have always irradiated 3D. Can you uh, irradiate patient 2D? Never, yeah. The, the radiation comes 3D, and we always irradiated 3D but we cannot calculate the 3D. That's what the problem at that time. And we could not also conform because we have no tools, uh, no multi-lead like this, but we have irradiated always 3D. Yeah. Now we have the tools to calculate 3D and also in hardware to conform the tumor and other organ. See here is the contouring. Yes, I explained. And you see here the contouring, and uh, you can start in case of larynx here, just the outer contour, then target volume, in this case PTV. Everybody will be, uh, I explain later, uh, uh, the planning treatment volume, it is actually where we uh, calculate, and organ atrix in different places, uh, according to the uh, need of the patient. and. So here is the strategy for the medical doctors. Uh, sometimes they draw the tumor you have seen, and they uh, decrease the volume, and again increase the dose. And so they uh, call it tumor uh, detected and tumor suspected. You see his, here is the actually, I have taken these slides from medical doctors. I think it is very nice. Uh, the medical tumor mass and tumor localization, tumor character, which modality is needed. So I, so I uh, place it here. So it is a it is a actually long and very very positive development. Even in Germany, I am actually the witness of all the development because I came there seventy two. 
and it started uh, my radiotherapy medical physics in 78. At that time, there is no computer, no water phantom, nothing. Uh, we do everything with hands and everything. So I know the development. When at the time, even in the hospital, when the head of the department is not there, and the second people, they have different uh, treatment volume. Yeah, you cannot compare even in the hospital yourself to the head of the radiation oncologist and his second man. Now, there is a very, very positive introduction of the ICRU. They are given the correct definition, how you irradiate and how you record it and everything clear. So all over the world, we have the same philosophy so we can compare and even we can compare the outcome. So it is a very, very positive development. So the people are thinking, yeah, the radiation oncology and medical physics, they are always developing and developing and developing. So you start as a 29, and then ICRO 50, you know this one, and uh, use it. And of course, the 62 is also very important. Actually, we cannot uh, download such types of ICRO. You should uh, buy this one. And actually, it's very expensive, but you can copy from anywhere. And even uh, ICRU 82, yeah, when you have MRI, MRT, then 82, then you do use it. So here, I do not explain this 29. It is uh, actually the old. At the same time, uh, you have seen here, at the time, they have also the reference point they needed. Yeah, and these are all. Uh, but here is important. Uh, the uh, ICRO 50, they have the GTV, then you have CTV, and you have PTV, yes, and you know everybody, I think so. Uh, GTV actually is with the uh, imaging modalities, you can detect the tumor, and then with the microscopic, uh, then you close the microscopic with the imaging modality, and then you have the CTV. And then actually the PTV is very important. The margin from setup of uh, uh, geometric uh, uncertainty as or organ movement. They both are enclosed. So I told you earlier, uh, I talked to you earlier when you have a better immobilization devices, uh, then you can actually decrease the setup uh, uncertainty. And these are, uh, these are actually the contouring and you have also many, many things here inside, like reference point. How can you define reference point according to the um, uh, field arrangement? And you can also hear the normalization, optimization you can find here. If you have some question, I don't know. It is too quick. It's OK. <laughs> because one hour, uh, we should <laughs> finish with this. But you can some question, maybe, it's not a problem. So the next one you have here, uh, the, uh, the ICRO 62, it is actually the new is here. Then you have the ITV, yes. Uh, uh, it is actually a part of PTV. Uh, when you differentiate this, then it is easy for you to minimize the setup accuracy. That's why they're doing that. Yeah, it's more differentiated, more easy to, uh, after that, your decision to eliminate some uncertainties. And what is? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, this is the question. We do not actually uh, criticize them, but sometimes it is not uh, possible because some education, yes. This is always the continuous education is important. I know also hospital, they have never seen like this, yeah. Just being in Europe, even they have their national protocol. When the national protocol, they not consider this international protocol. They do not do that. So also the national protocol should do what is the ICRO is going. But I know many, many hospitals in Germany, they do that. Maybe you have. Uh, a media of information, please ask them to do that. And even here, OAR, 
there is in this protocol they have also like this is like the PTV for OAR, there is another PTV in the older protocol they have not PTV like yes this is also the organo pricks they have some boundary so here you can uh, consider uh, the movement and set up accuracy. And what is important here the conformity index yes yeah and this is also very important for the 62. So here actually the uh, summary for all the modalities and uh, in what is actually PTV, ITV and PTV. I feel uh, I think it is I have also taken from the um, um, IAEA is, I, is a very good one, one you can do that. No, no, yes, not, uh, not the uh, penumbra and not the, uh, what is this, outbound uh, uh, in German, what is this, uh, build up, not the build up region. So therefore, when you have the eye view in a treatment planning, then you put the boundary, you put the boundary, uh, uh, the field boundary is more than the, uh, more than the PTV, so that the 95 percent cover the PTV, yes. That is why you place the different lips is more than the PTV. Uh, here yes. does not. Yeah. Can you include the penumbra also? No, no. no. Not penumbra, not a build up. So you plan so that you have 95 percent in the PTV. Therefore, your field is, if your field is not equivalent, uh, not the same as PTV's boundary, it is uh, larger. It is a linear accelerator. Don't, uh, don't uh, think about penumbra. Yeah, it is not uh, um, gamma ready, uh, gamma um, cobalt 60 machine. It is a tiny point, so penumbra is very less. So it is not actually the problem. Yes, okay. Here is actually uh, the uh, reality, yes. Uh, it's not like a round shape or an ovoyal shape. It is actually the reality. So I have taken also from the medical doctors. Uh, this you can see they have written everything very well. It is actually the work of radiation oncologist, yes. So here uh, then the BIM modeling, these tools is very, very important. Everybody know where is in the profession BIM modeling in the TPS on the beginners uh, we have always the physicist tools is this. And here I have to started the optimization criteria, a field form, you can, uh, you can uh, field form with this uh, satellite blocks or here with the multi-leaf. You see here the view form and very easy for the multi-leaf uh, collimators and it's not only the treatment, conformal treatment, but also the planning is very nice, yeah. At that time, earlier time, we have four leaves in always a rectangular or a, or a square. We have no many, many leaves. So it is easy to do that. Uh, but the, yeah, we say when the machine is very easy for the medical doctors and then very complex for the physicist, the physicist is vice versa, yeah. So you, when the medical doctors, the machine is very simple, then you have more and more quality control, yes. And uh, every country in Europe, they have their quality control protocol. We are doing the take, uh, daily checks, weekly checks, monthly checks, three monthly checks, half yearly checks, and yearly checks, yeah. And many, many work is there. And it should be also in Germany, even in Italy, they're controlled by the official every two years, whether you have done everything or not. So uh, actually developing country, I have always the, uh, I have always the experience in developing country. The physicists, they think, they think their work is to do the treatment planning. It is not, yeah. Your work is actually the quality control. 
Yeah, medical doctor do not care whether you have the, the quality control or not. They care that you do the treatment planning. So you do the treatment planning and you finish your work, go at home. So some countries, they have no regulation at all for the quality control. So the medical physics do not do the quality control. Yeah, this is actually, uh, they, they, harm their, uh, they harm their profession. When they think that you are doing only the treatment planning, yes, so they, they do not need any medical physicist. They take the technician and they pay less. This for them is easy. So one times when you do not develop the quality control in a hospital, actually you harm your profession. Yeah, sometimes you are not there. The technician is there. Please do the treatment planning. There are many core recommendations in the IA. Even you come, uh, Professor Padivani, maybe from Italy, and you uh, you can deploy yourself. Don't think like this. I have my treatment planning with medical doctor satisfied, I go at home. Don't do that. Then you actually harmful to your profession in medical physics. Because you are something, the, your place in the whole chain, nobody can do so You can do They need you. It is the quality control. So here, uh, the eye view as a beam form, you can adjust the treatment volume like this. And it is the conformal. And uh, optimization of energy, just you are telling uh, your medical physicist, you know the actually the properties of radiation, that's why you are in the hospital. You understand uh, how the energy and what is its interaction with the materi. Also, you know the depth dose, and you know the scattering, and you know the penumbra, you know the uh, build up everything is your control. So you can optimize the energy. And here is a uh, entry point. This is actually the daily thing. When there is a tumor here, how the entry point look like? Maybe here, maybe this. Do you need a wedge or not? On every your decision to choice of best angle. And here you see the beam numbers and weighting. Yeah, when you some high you know, um, um, actually the head and neck tumor, maybe sometimes in 14 or 15 fields in the direct planning. So your decision always do optimization yourself. It takes long time to do a best uh, configuration and waiting. You are changing, changing, changing. It is easier for the IMRT, but in the 3D conformal, you have to optimize yourself with your uh, experiences. So sometimes uh, there are medical physicists in the hospital, maybe very specialized with the uh, TPS, and he can do earlier than you as the head of the, uh, the medical physics. So it is actually your experience. Uh, some hospital, they have some standard, uh, standard tumor, and they have some standard uh, mask. They put it, it and modify it. They know in this case, I have four field, box field, and they put it this one, and then they can change it. So you can do that also. And here, uh, you have uh, the optimization wages. Yeah, Please use more uh, dynamic ways. Yes, because if the technician when 100 wages in the day, then it's not so easy. Maybe in different angles, they change, they should be changes. So the dynamic wages is very important. In some cases, it's not possible. But I think you use also the dynamic wages. So here the uh, type of criteria, I go ladder. Here the combination of electron and photon. Yeah, you can select in which cases photon and which is electron. And opposite field, wedge field. And here three fields and rotational irradiation in Germany, there is no rotational at all. No rotational, they do not that. It actually historically the rotational, uh, the insurance did not pay the, uh, because they don't want field. So the medical doctors select more fields because they have more money. And now is the tradition is so, uh, they do not use uh, actually the rotational field. But still, many cases you need it. Uh, actually, MRT, we know this uh, uh, rapid arc and like this. But in uh, um, 3D conventional uh, rotational field is very seldom. 
we are in non coplanar yeah and sometimes in head and neck uses you know this uh, co, uh, 3d coplanar uh, non coplanar it is sometimes you know the actually the geometry and the field configuration sometimes not easy for the beginners but when they do some plan uh, then they understand what is the no non coplanar they move their coach and the patient because the uh, because the head of the uh, only in this direction, not like a gamma tone at the time. They can also be like this direction. So you place your coach in other directions. So now is the criteria. Here is the criteria from the ICRO. You see here, plus seven percent to minus five percent. This is actually the dose inside the PTB. It should be maintained. When the, sometimes it's not possible, it's very complex. Then you consult with the medical doctor, and he decided maybe less than 5%, then he said, OK, I select it. But not your decision. You try always as physicist to do that. And this is actually the condition for the PTV. And organ of risk, the condition I, I give the once again this table. So in this table and this condition, then you can fulfill uh, the treatment planning. So here, actually, optimize the dose distribution. When you have all our settings together, then you can optimize, you can normalize, and you can put actually two gray in the ICRO uh, point. And then you have the final check, uh, final plan like this. It is only in one, one uh, level, uh, one level, but you have different. So with the help of IC, I, ISO dose, you cannot just this one. So there is a new uh, methodology. It is, uh, you know this. This is called dose volume histogram. So every pixel voxel, you have the dose, and you see in which dose, and then you draw the uh, volume. We fulfill this condition against the dose. You see here actually the PTV is very good, homogen and applied the dose, and here is the other organ of risk. So you can judge very easily. For medical doctors, it's, it's very um, one minute. They can judge in which plane is better. But at the older time, when only one plane, then in uh, ISO is OK. But now it's many, many uh, scan, and you cannot judge it. And here, actually, the case I have drawn, this is the ideal case but is not realized in the practice. When the PTV in the is 100%, then it's very good. And actually, the organ of risk, nothing. Yeah. Should, I, should I do this conformal? Maybe in brachytherapy or proton therapy. But it's not with the photon or electron. Brachytherapy is more conformal. Yeah. You know the brachytherapy is very important. It, it takes, again, the renaissance. In uh, radiotherapy, it is it cost one third of the surgery. Yes, in brachytherapy again one third cost. You know, from the surgery in brachytherapy one ninth is a very very uh, uh, cheap. But uh, the people are medical doctors sometimes not because sometimes invasive, so they know they need to touch the patient. Yeah, so it is extensive work. But uh, external beam is just like the beam is there, it is easy. So I uh, suggest in developing country do more uh, after loading. Yeah. It is very, very important. Even some countries like India and China, they have very uh, manual after loading. Yeah. When the passion load is not so high, then manual after loading is also very cheap. Yeah. I have seen in India $1,000 with a manual applicator for um, cervix carcinom. It takes long time, maybe 28 hours, but they are doing some help. I have seen in also Africa, in Tanzania, uh, they are doing like this. So it's possible. But I suggest when the frequency of patient very high, you had after loading, remote after loading, high dose therapy, and it's important. What is the radiotherapy is also very, uh, radiotherapy is also very human. When you have a radiotherapy there, uh, then you have maybe in one day in the evening, uh, one day in the afternoon, take it free for the poor people. 
but you cannot do it chemotherapy or surgery because chemotherapy everybody needs the medicine but on one half uh, days free for the uh, poor people they have the add of uh, radiotherapy so here three treatment planning as a three treatment planning for the same patient i select it maybe this uh, red one that is the best one so here is different types of uh, different types of uh, treatment planning everywhere you can possible the treatment planning and uh, here is a, is a very good tool the drr you know from the uh, from the projection radiography you can uh, from the cities you made the projection uh, radiography when you have projection radiography then you can compare with simulator at the same time the field control all the three can you compare when they are very very concise then you have a best positioning so this tools is always you do that and send from tps to the treatment planning system and the simulator here uh, please here here the all the drr so uh, then uh, when the drr there you can simulate the patient once again when there is no ct simulator normal simulator you can simulate and see whether the uh, positioning is okay and the field control verification is everything is okay and here is the information system here you sent not only the treatment planning but also the drr here once again and then again positioning the patient in the linear accelerator room once again and then you do a image field control here this is actually the image field control with epit or some film pot inside the treatment planning room and actually this is important the drr simulation and verification when the t three boards uh, all the three are fit together then you have the best situation so and then uh, the radiotherapy uh, here in the whole process you have the random uncertainty and the systematic uncertainty have uh, uh, here list of all the uh, uncertainties here is the list of all the uncertainties and it should be removed through different mechanism and through different precautions and we'll explain the next uh, hour uh, the whole the uncertainty how can you remove it through the verification through the immobilization through the control of dose and everything so that you can minimize uh, this all the uncertainties so you have a very successful as uh, radiotherapy what we can and what is important also for you it is a pax system in most hospitals they have the pax system the archive and you send everything to there because in uh, you know the all the documents from radiotherapy you should uh, have for 30 years yeah in germany when somebody in after 10 or 20 years come and maybe ask uh, you have that uh, treatment for my a grandfather so you should be, you should actually prove it is it is everything is okay so 30 years uh, the uh, archivium in the, the radiotherapy and 10 years for one um, x-ray diagnostic so here all the documents you send there some hospital have their own uh, packs for the radiotherapy department i suggest actually every radiotherapy department their own packs otherwise there is a central packs in the radiology department and you should have your place there and you have a good cooperation with the technician of the uh, radiologist maybe you have your password to go there freely and uh, uh, control your uh, data yes so uh, it is actually the uh, uh, matter of uh, uh, organization but i have a small uh, department with their own pack system it is also good you can Uh, care your, yourself but the pack system is very easy the one of the question the medical fees is yeah your, your tax is very heavy actually yeah when you have the pack system when the new system come you actually convert all the data from the old system to the new system yeah the vendor always throw no problem we are doing this uh, we, we supply you the uh, the uh, software that and after the Uh, sold it yes uh, you cannot change this 
I have sometimes this a band, and now the DVD, and you can read the old one. So how can you preserve 30 years? So actually, your duty to continuous check up the third, uh, 30 years. Yeah. Otherwise, you archive it, and after that, is you cannot read it. So these are all the literatures I have used. Uh, of course, uh, my experience in hospital. Uh, I have finished this in very time cell. Now your question or your comment, please do that. Maybe we have two or three minutes. Feel free and do that. Yeah, there is no foolish question, only foolish answer. Yeah. Please. Huh? Yes. Actually, ICTP ninety five percent. Yeah, okay. ICTP is a, is the simple. Yes, yeah. you have a documents, then you have no responsibility. Do have according to the do documents, but do better than the documents. Then is allowed. I will not uh, that that. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Yes. No. No, no. No change. <laughs> any question, please, or any comments? Or free, feel free. We have a short time. We cover everything, and here is the director. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay, stay here. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah. Maybe in the interval, we can discuss more details. Yeah, you have free here. You are here, no family, no girlfriends, nothing. You are here <laughs> only to do the medical physics. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your attention. Uh, we'll see <laughs> in the next. Thank you.